Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna talk about the first five things you need to buy for your new RV. First things first, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. Let's just get right into this, here we go. Once you're parked, one of the first things you need to make sure to do is chalk your RV. So you can do that a couple different ways. One, you can use the old blocks or the little yellow, uh, you know, V-shaped things that go up in the in the wheels. Those are pretty simple and cheap. But to me, these X chalks are probably some of the best things that are out on the market. There's also another thing called Anderson levelers, which are also really amazing. But these X chalks put pressure against both tires and it really helps to stabilize the axles and prevent the wheels from going anywhere. So this is the one that I recommend. But again, it just depends on your rig and your style of camping. Once you're parked in your chalk, one of the first things you want to do is hook up your electric. So before you plug into that campground pedestal, really consider getting your Yourself a surge protector now this one is just a progressive industries 50 amp surge protector it's pretty much like the cheapest style out there it is a surge protector only and I was using one of these for the better part of a year pretty much before I discovered uh, what an EMS really can do for you and how it can really protect you so now I've upgraded to an EMS which you can see my display right up in there uh, and I hardwired mine in so it's behind this panel and everything and I have a video showing that so you can look back to my channel and see that. But an EMS is really a much better way of protecting yourself because there's just so many more things that a surge protector just doesn't protect you against. Yes, it protects you against surges, which is amazing, but it does not protect you against low voltage, high voltage, um, you know, reverse polarity, open grounds, all sorts of different things that an EMS system does protect you against. And with all the expensive electronics that are inside your RV, you're going to want to invest in a few hundred dollars worth of protection. So go with the EMS, it's a way better thing to do. So now you have your EMS protector or your surge protector, or whatever it is, uh, you also need your extension or your actual RV power cord. Now some RVs come with your power cord already, which is great, but if they don't come with one, you need to get one that's for your RV, right? 30 amp RV needs a 30 amp cord, uh, 50 amp RV needs a 50 amp cord, and they come in different lengths, right? 15 foot, 25 foot, it all just depends. So you need to make sure you're getting what's gonna fit for you and your camping style. Now me, I have a 25 foot cord and a 25 foot extension cord, and I've never had a problem between those two um, to get out on your first weekend of camping you don't need both of those you just need one cord to get out there and enjoy but after that you're going to want to start to acquire a few things like some dog bone adapters right a 50 amp to a 30 amp in case there's only 30 amp available at a campground or for those of you with 30 amp the exact opposite 50 amp down to 30 amp so if there's only 50 amp available at a campground you can plug in and then the other one that we like to have is this one the 30 amp down to 15 amp um, so I can plug straight into a house and I can, you know, keep the batteries charged and do all minimal stuff, but you know, you don't need to, you're not really going to pull much power through that, but at least it gets your power into your batteries. The next need that you have for your RV is right here, water pressure regulator. Okay. This water pressure regulator, you, you, you have to have it. I mean, if you don't have this thing, you, you put your RV at such a high risk and without it, you know, you can blow out the lines. It's just, you know, you're really gonna wanna get one of these things, okay? Now this is a fixed, or excuse me, adjustable. I can adjust the pressure on this. And uh, there are ones that are just in line. They're real short and they're much cheaper, but they break all the time. So the other thing you might wanna consider is a water filter. These things are pretty cheap. You change them out every couple months. And then the other thing is a nice flexible drinking hose, right? So this is mine. It is flexible, it does not kink, it's a lot easier to handle than those big bulky white ones. So consider getting yourself one of these flexible drinking hoses so you have nice, good drinking water coming in. So again, water pressure regulator and a nice hose, a filter, you know, I like having it, but you don't really need it. But you have to have a good hose, you have to have a good pressure regulator. The fifth and final thing you're gonna need for your new RV is the Stinky Slinky. All right, so we have the Rhino kit. Uh, there's all sorts of different kits online. Uh, we like this one. We have a couple different runs of this, but it comes, you know, in a kit that has elbows and it has the sewer connector and it has, you know, a lot of things you need right off the bat. Now, after you get your regular kits, you can hook up to the regular sewer. That's great. You're going to want to consider getting something like this that keeps it at a nice steady, uh, you know, grade all the way down into the sewer. You're also going to want to maybe consider uh, a straight or a 90 degree elbow. You wanna be able to see what's coming out at this end. So you wanna make sure it's coming out clear. And the last thing is these donuts. These donuts are, uh, 
not used very often, but there are some times where you get to a sewer and it's just a hole. There's no threads to be able to put one of these things on. So you need that donut to, to seal your, this into it. Uh, you know, the donut just kind of goes right over the end there. I'm not gonna touch any of this stuff, but uh, that donut goes over the end and slips into it. And so it seals it onto those ones that are just literally just a hole in the ground. That's really all that you need to have. If you wanna just go out and go camping, you got your new RV, that's all you need. You need power, you need electric, you need water, you need to make sure the rig is safe. That's it, just get out and enjoy. All the rest of the stuff you'll find, you'll buy, you'll see what you like, you'll add more stuff to it. And uh, hopefully next week's video, I'm actually gonna do some of the top wants that you might want to get for your new RV, but definitely not a need. And uh, that's gonna be its own thing. So this is it, five things that you needed to get to get out and go RVing. That's it for this week's video. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. We'll see you next time, bye. Okay, now you, now you got yourself a nice. Well, all right, everyone, that's it for this week's video. I hope you learned something. Those are the five things that you need for your new RV. And, uh, wind. That's it for this week's video. If you like the, That's it for this week's video. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn. That's it for this week's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more and make less mistakes.